Yeah, the speed so, nine team is amazing. Holy shit. Yep. Double fire canling, the fire mile for the resist lead. Oh my also god. Also max resist, yeah. Uh, it used to be Fire Brawn actually on the fourth spot here, but with this Fire Brawn because it's single target, mm -hmm. my runs were not 100% consistent. It was actually 95% consistent. So actually, every over almost every like 19 out of 20 runs mm -hmm. after that 19th run, it would always be a fail usually. So it's RNG based just because of this Fire Coal. Um, so I did swap them out. They are now six star gemmed as well because I am preparing them for B3 Dragons actually. Um, so oh, nice. this, I should be I should be able to have a VOD about that later on this weekend, this upcoming weekend. Um, hopefully it'll become a success, but I am planning on using this for Ashmont. Again, Fire Katine, Nat 2, um, only available through the Shady Shop, so definitely keep yeah. an eye out for those. Um, and then Farmable, obviously, because Water Katine and Farmable in, I believe, uh, this year, Magma Craigs. Whatever the seabed caves and yeah. I think there's one more. The, oh, and where are water sardines, I believe. The uh, there's three maps that have the coatings. The Aria Lake has the wood ones. Um, yeah. Seabed and Magma Crags have water ones. All right. Yep. Easy to find. Uh, and <laughs> I think you're 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 like showing the like extreme here, like where it's like completely 100% farmable. Because I think 90% of the players won't have to get to this point. Like they'll probably yeah. have like e maybe a wild thing or you know like a fire wild thing, maybe a fire. I don't know some what's a strong fire nat five. Like I have no idea. <laughs> fire <laughs> Sanzang is now a passive healer, yeah. so you don't even need a fire continue to get a fire Sanzang, which I have here. I haven't even tested her out yet, so I don't feel like it now. <laughs> it, it, it would probably work, you know, she's, she's just that good. Yeah. <laughs> she's amazing. Fire Sanzang yeah. and Water Burst, their difference in healing is not that big. It's probably like a whole 500 HP to 1,000, maybe 2,000. Still mm -hmm. not that big of a difference, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Which is, passive healing is always good. Three-star healing, oh man, it's amazing. Especially based on own HP. Yeah. So you probably won't like have to do something like this, but you know this is just nah. in case you don't have anything, you can actually just build this team, you know. Uh, if you if you have like an evil two firewall thing, evil two fire vampire, evil two fire succubus, I definitely recommend building those guys instead over this team because they're mm -hmm. able to self heal, and yeah. not to mention it's so easy to get square gems out to get that crit rate in. All right. Yeah. If they're crit based, I mean the wire, firewall thing, you can just build straight up three times attack percentage. That's it. Fire vampire HP attack crit rate. Fire Sucubus HP attack crit rate, something like that, um, or attack attack crit rate, doesn't really matter. It's just the fact that they can heal themselves, which makes them viable for B9, since B9's main damage is not because of their physical damage, it's because of their sap damage, yes. right? That's why I always have as high resist as possible for my teams. So, um, uh, you actually went through your gems really, really fast. I didn't actually... You want to oh, talk no. a little bit yeah. about... I can go over them now. I did do it, like, I did upgrade them, like I said, but I did already test them out with plus 12. Four star mm -hmm. conviction gems. Yes. Um, my fire horn is actually built HP percentage attack attack, um, four star wise. She's now HP attack still attack attack still. Um, I'm actually trying to replace this four star with another six yes. star attack gem once I get the chance. Um, let's see here. My fire katine. My fire katine was actually built. So she's still on four star gems actually. Um, I built her HP HP recovery. You can actually build her HP recovery recovery as well um, to All get right. that extra orb in. Um, specific for a healer, but she is my highest resist, like always. Um, it should be because you don't want her to get sapped. Yep. The only thing that's dangerous to a fire contain would be the retribution, and that's about it. If you're building HP recovery, recovery, so that's the only thing you really want to watch out for. But the higher the resist, the less sap that built this entire team will get. So that's why yep. I really recommend building a fire myho if you can't. If you cannot build a fire myho, then you want to use a fire broad lead, um, which I don't have unfortunately because of their HP percent increase. Yeah. And you definitely want to build a fire mustang a little bit tankier. So probably HP, HP attack or HP defense attack. Normally I wouldn't recommend defense for this um, Jolin specifically because you already have 50% damage negation because of the elemental counter, right? Yes. So you already have that. So defense is also useless against sap primarily because sap just shoots through defense. Um, and if you're just using a defense gem instead of HP, um, right? So you have a larger danger towards, uh, towards retribution. Which deals a flat damage, which is up to eight thousand, I believe. Eight thousand for wood golems. I know it's ten thousand for dark golems. So probably eight thousand for um, B9. Um, in terms of flat damage towards your one Ashmon. Yeah, I completely forgot that this boss has retribution. Um, mm -hmm. it, 
It's basically a random debuff, uh, for those of you that don't know, that does like a... It basically just deals like true damage to your your uh, random unit yep. after Which a turn. Basically, every fifth uh, Ash one attacks it, um, mm -hmm. gets it. That's what I think. All, All right. right. So my fire canling, they're both built the same HP attack attack. You want to try to get as much DPS as possible if you want to get through um, uh, wood uh, wood golems. I turn, yeah, I currently have them build HP attack attacks in six star, but I definitely built them as four star gem as well. It's HP attack attack; it doesn't just uh, change. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in. All right. You can actually use a fire candling lead too, but um, like I said, having higher the re the higher the resist, the longer the survivability towards the golem. The wave in this in the wave uh, for B9 golems are extremely easy to get through. They do yes. absolutely no damage. Again, they also sap, but their sap is not as worse compared to what the golem has to offer because the golem. I've seen um, in the past yeah. <laughs> where an Ashron had eight sap stack of sap on him. I was like, this guy's yeah. done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times, good times. I, I think at this point, um, you know, since since you're already at the point where you're able to farm B8 and B7, you're kind of expected that you could have access to six star gems. Like you don't have to limit yourself to using full only four star. No. Yeah, no, at this you don't point. Have to use four star. I just want to prove to people. That you are able to do it this way if you really want to. Mm -hmm. I mean, like this is just show you like the midpoint. And then again, this is like also like once you get to B nine, B nine is also team combo dependent, and yes. that's once you get to B ten as well. So team combo does play a role to how your team operates. And um, Gons, for example, uh, let's see here. I did it on rack. I, I on my last alt, I tried to go for B nine. I completely put like I put a fire Odin in there. I put some random ash ones in there, and they com it mm. failed. It failed with six star gems, all right. So this 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 dungeon here is more towards team uh, combo, um, team combo requirement basically. Yeah. Um, if you get the right team combo in, then you're fine. I definitely highly suggest you to build like double fire canling if you don't have like any of those sexy little nat fours or nat five ash ones yet. Yes, don't got you know. Um, fire canling is a farmable in Lunar Valley. Yeah, yes. Lunar Valley. And definitely farm it on normal if you can. And it's, believe me, these guys pop out like flies during exotic events. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it's, that, that is true. All right, this is actually oh, yeah. looking pretty fast. Oh yeah, uh, I believe it's like three minutes now, three minutes to four minutes average. I mean, still pretty slow. Then again, you can want a very very fast run, level sixties. Um, what's uh, oh yeah if, for B nine specifically? If you really want extremely fast run. Four mm -hmm. attackers, no healers, level 60, six star gems, completely jumped out as well. So that's your fastest run you can get. Also, if you can actually put one fire Ashmon there with an SP Siphon. SP Siphon always speeds up a run, no matter what, usually. As your little end game to, I guess, yeah. end game type to get to um, like one minute, one minute, 30 seconds, something like yeah. that. I mean, on my Nat6 account, I'm only able to clear it in two minutes or less, around one minute 30 to two minutes average at the moment. Because I don't really care much about B9. I'm only farming B10 at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it's the same for me. Like, I, I farm B10 faster than I can farm B9. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, B9, B9 is just extremely tanky. So, mm -hmm. honestly, you probably don't even need defense down. But the def that defense down, the reason why I bring defense down is primarily because of the sh defense up that the right minion actually provides. And not to mention the right minion is probably the main reason why most people fail this golem on auto. Is because that right main is so goddamn tanky. So having yeah. probably sap, if you can bring sap to this, then I yeah. guess you should be fine as well. Definitely sap because again, wood golem is HP consistent, extremely uh, developed around the HP part. So I like, yeah, you don't really need to bring defense break, but I just would like to have that defense break there, just negate the defense up. But you know what, my my entire team just completely obliterated that right minion. So looking good so far. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? Fire Katina also saps on a three yeah. star, so <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> also that's a good reason. It's a little bit of a bonus. <laughs> it's a little bit of bonus. All right, so we are done with B nine, B seven to B nine, full farmable team for every single uh, three of them, um, except number, uh, except B eight because they didn't use a water valve. All right, I think that's pretty much what I planned for this collab. Just talk, talking a little bit about like you know progressing through the early to mid game. Um, is there anything you want to like, kind of? end with or maybe if you want to talk a little bit about b10 i'm not i'm not sure 
B10 is currently under theorycraft so far. Um, I know there's a large amount of, hey, let's build a light Cosmo out there. I'm trying to build something that doesn't require light and dark units as well. I'm building a full mm -hmm. elemental team. Remember, B10 is also, like, you know, what I meant to say is B10, in B10, since they're with the new lower resist down, and I guess Fantasy Gaming already did it with like a full SAP team. SAP is viable. Billy, bring SAP, make them tanky. You should be able to clear B10 basically. What, so what I'm theory crafting for uh, for Farm Bowl so far would be a Water Sign, a Water Maiho, and a Water Mona so far. With my fourth probably being another Water Mona or another Water Healer, probably a Water Lumo or something like that. It's just for me to test around a bit. I'm trying to build an effective B10 team. As long, like, remember out there, guys, um, try to be consistent and then efficient. I'm mm -hmm. trying to go for both, which you guys shouldn't try to do, but I'm trying to build these team ahead for new players um, to try to build themselves in case they don't have anything else. I try to provide templates, and those templates will be found on my guide as well um, once you get to the golem section. Um, so let's see here. Where's my water my hoe at? Yeah, she should be almost evil 3. I almost have enough. If I remember correctly, I do have enough to make her evil 3, actually. So, yeah. That's about it. Alright. Um... I think I think the the Miho is actually a pretty good idea. You can actually skill them up as well. It's it's yeah, cheaper. Definitely. It's cheaper to skill up them. Uh, like the the three star ones are cheaper to skill up. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll look forward to that. Definitely. Uh, like follow him on Twitch and and YouTube to to check that out once he has the guide out, and also take a look at his his mate, uh, his guide his his super guide for Monster Super League. I'll have everything in the description. Um, you know, I'll I'll link everything. And yeah, thank thank you so much for for uh, doing this collab with me. No problem, man. Thank you so much for inviting me, bud. And it's a great time, and hopefully, have a great night sleep because I know it's pretty late for you for doing this. It's, me, it's fine. Um, in a different time zone. <laughs> I, I think you you uh, you definitely do deserve a lot more viewers. Like you're you're super helpful for new newer players. You're like super nice, always willing to do those like reviews and everything. You know, when when people ask you and stuff. But yeah, that's. I think that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys. I'll see. I'll see everyone uh, in the next video. And you, can, you guys can just go and check out uh, Asian Elite and his channel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.